today we welcome Danielle from Kenwood. Danielle, tell us about the Multi One. The Multi One is a fantastic new product combining all of Kenwood's experience in kitchen machines and food processors and making it into one machine. Tell us about the bowl tools, the three bowl tools you get. So with this machine you'll get a whisk, K-beater and then your dough hook. And what is the K-beater good for? The K-beater is good for doing things like cakes and pastries. Danielle, I noticed that the bowl tools don't go straight into the mixer, they go in at an angle. Why is that? So this works perfect with the 360 degree planetary mix in action, so it makes sure it reaches every single part of the bowl. Well, this is obviously the bowl, but what is this as well? This is the food processor which is sat at the top. So at the bottom you've got your mix zone, at the top you've got your prep zone. So two zones together, but can they work together? No, so you would, if you were using the mix zone, you would mm -hmm. just use the mix zone. This wouldn't be sat on the top. You would have a cap on there. Okay. And the, the mixing zone will only work when that cap is on, is that correct? It will still work, but you shouldn't use them at the same time. It won't be able to work to its full potential. And what else do you get on the prep zone? So with the prep zone, you've got your obviously your food processor, mm -hmm. which comes with your free discs. Right. You get a knife blade as well, but then you can also use a centrifugal juicer, so that's great for making your using your hard fruits, like okay. apples, making your juices. Or you've got a citrus juicer, which will sit on the top. And then you've also got your glass blender as well. This machine does an awful lot of jobs in the kitchen. How do we control it? It's all controlled from the control dial, which is at the side of the machine. It's a soft start variable speed dial. What does that mean? For example, if you're making some royal icing and you've put your icing sugar in the mm. bowl and you ramp that straight up to a high speed, usually it would fly out of the bowl. With this, it will gradually work its way up to that speed. I notice that the cap isn't locked. Will this machine still work? So this is a quite a good feature for this mm. machine. This is like a safety interlock. So if you've got a bowl tool in the bowl, it won't start because this isn't interlocked. You'll be able to tell that there's something not interlocked by the control dial because it will be flashing. So as soon as I lock that, it will stop flashing and you can carry on with the job you're doing. And what is this plastic lid? It's not so much a lid, it's okay. a splash guard. So this, as we explained earlier with the icing sugar, this will still give you that extra bit of protection. The splash guard's really easy to get on and off and that's because it's got a new bayonet fitting. Okay, and that make it more secure? Exactly. Also, it's got a feed tube, so when your machine's actually working, you can add more ingredients. Right, Danielle, what goodies are we going to make today? Today we're going to make homemade beef burgers. We're going to be using both the mix zone and the prep zone. Brilliant. Let's go for it. OK, so first we're going to use the mincer. And how much meat do we have in there? There's 400 grams in there. First, I'm going to turn the machine to a medium speed, and then we'll use the pusher to push the meat through. OK. 